don't know if you saw this. DK Metcalf, yeah, he had to do a little doo doo in the middle of the game, and instead of running to the bathroom, which apparently he was unable to run because it was so close that that turtle head was right there, he had to get carted off to use the facilities. Mitch, have you ever seen anything like this during your college or NFL career, where either a guy had to use the bathroom on the sideline, or worse, he had to get carted to the, the bat, where he had to get carted into the locker room to use the bathroom facilities? <laughs> You know, you see a bunch of guys who, you know, have to go pee and I feel like old school, the John Madden used to point out, you know, the Cowboys guys had, you know, quote unquote sweat on their legs and uh, <laughs> Madden knew better. He knew it wasn't sweat. Yellow colored sweat, that's unusual. <laughs> Uh, so there's a bunch of stories of, of guys kind of just taking a knee and, and letting it fly uh, and just kind of doing what they need to do. You know, these days you've got that blue medical tent. So if a guy runs back yeah. there, uh, he can get some coverage. You know, old school used to call a couple of trainers over, try to find one place that looked like a little bit of a corner. The trainers would hold up towels, <laughs> you'd leave yourself <laughs> usually into a trash can, and try to keep it a little sanitary. <laughs> but having to go number two, I've never seen that before. And I've never seen someone need to take a card up for it. Uh, I don't know how far... Uh, you want to go on this one, but I don't know. You had a, a specific pregame uh, routine to make sure you were at peak performance on game day in regards to that. So maybe you want to let the listeners in on what you used to do pregame. Yeah, I had a very elaborate pregame routine, not only from my own warm up standpoint, but uh, also when you use the bathroom. And then <laughs> medically, uh, I took some supplements to make sure that this didn't happen to me during the game. So I always took some. Uh, um, what was the modium, so. right? No, it was, it was, yes, yes, a modem. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. For a second, I thought that was opposite. So I had a very strict supplement routine on game day where I always took two emodiums before the game, <laughs> about three hours before we'd get out there for warm-ups because I wanted to make sure that I didn't need anybody that had to cart me to the locker room to go boo-boo. So uh, DK Metcalf, call me. I'll hook you up with my emodium guy, and then you'll never have this problem ever again. See, I, I had the opposite. I was a nervous guy, and to calm my nerves, I would eat a lot of food leading up to the game. So I had the combination of game day nerves with way too much in the system. So I didn't need to plug it up. You know, pregame, I was able to let it out and, uh, nice. you know, gain, gain a couple pounds of speed. <laughs>